All right, let's go see how the bots are. Pick one, a pack one. Not looking juicy. I'm looking at tactician. And that's about it. I'm not a huge fan of white, but that's definitely the best card in the pack, IMO. You want me to take the kitty and try to force the cauldron? Not a... Here, what the... What is going on out there? Alright. Where were we? Bots are bad. No, they said they just updated them, so we're gonna we're gonna check them out. But I'm gonna take tactician, pick one, pack one. Ooh, mama. I am tempted by so many cards here. I love Alliance, but I'm not huge on the blue red deck. I think it's actually kinda poop. Um because you really, really need the pieces to come together. When it comes together, it's amazing, but... Alright, we have a Fairy Guide Mother, Lonesome Unicorn, if we want to take a white card to follow up, but... I think the easy pick is just the safe pick, which is Pi. Whoop. You know, <laughs> I thought this was, uh... The Raven card. <laughs> it kind of looked like it, and it was in the correct position to be as well. Alright, we're looking at Lockthwain, Acolyte... Butterfox. Probably the safest pick, just one of these black cards. I think I like taking the pallet in here. I think this is actually worth taking. And if it pans out, it's going to be so good. Because this has super high upside. Even though I'm ditching out on, on two decent black cards already. Well, one very good black card and an okay black card. I think the upside here is worth it. Especially since I already have Tactician. I'm not losing much in black. Take the high upside pick here. Trail of Crumbs? Why you do this? Ah, that card is so good. Alright, I'm just going to take it. It's the best card here. Now I might take Reaper. Fine. Root pretty easy. Although Shield Breaker is excellent. In fact, I'd rather take Shield Breaker as a hedge than Foreboding Fruit, because you can pick up fruit very, very easily, and you don't want more than maybe two tops in your deck, I feel like, so. Yeah, similarly here, I might just take the Ogre Errant. Okay, there's the fruit. We'll take that now over Jousting Dummy because this is also filler replaceable. Very Guide Mother now too. Okay. The broom goes well with the trail if we're gonna do the green black food. Yeah, this is definitely better than Jousting. Tempt it up. A thirty-fourth Nugget makes that twelve months. All right, looks like we'll just take Lovestruck Beast here and probably move into green black food. But uh, there's another inspiring veteran here. And I haven't actually seen all that much green besides the Trail of Crumbs, right? Like two inspiring veteran is sickening. There's also another bake here. Man, this is, this is actually a really interesting draft so far because I think there are two different routes I can go. All right, I'm taking the veteran. Easy game. All right, we're in. Holy moly, epic downfall, Reeve Soul. Ah! <laughs> we're in, he says. Fudge. I'm going to take the red cap here. I'm already in. I'm not waffling anymore. Youthful Knight's not bad. Casket's very good. Okay, all right, all right. I'm I am approving of this direction. 
Outflank is fine, as is Bargin. A lot of the uh, knights aren't actually humans. Although I think a lot of my knights are in fact human. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the outflank over barge in. Paladin's fine with double veteran. You don't need fling. Ritual? I don't want too many four drops, but ritual's fine here. Filler pack. I don't think we're playing either of these cards, right? I don't know how many dwarves I've passed, but I could have a decent number of them for sure. I still need a lot of playables, so I'm going to take the fling here over the idyllic grange. I don't think we're playing double fling, though. Just broke back! Why you do that? Alright, it's fine. We got a Scorching Dragonfire. One of the best commons in the set, so. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That would have been our second epic downfall or something. All in though. Passing Guide Mother, Flutter Fox, Red Cap, Knight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is me right now. Unicorn, Griffin, oh, a barrage. That's excellent. I actually like taking the one drop here over the second burning yard. Need to lower my curve if possible. We might even run the ginger brute. Nice. Fox is these. Unlikely to run two paladins. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. You can cut that for sure. How many way? Oh, I can cut the seven dwarves. How many ways do we have to turn on Flutter Fox? Root. Casket, armor. I might be cutting the armor, actually. And I'm probably cutting the henge. Never mind, let's just take the, the rim rock. It might not be awful to run the uh, Knight of the Keep in this deck. I don't know if I'm running that. I think this is a 16 lander. Yeah, maybe I just run the Shining Armor as a trick. It's probably okay. Over the prize griffin. I don't need, really need another 5 drop. This is fine. Got a lot of knights, and we have double inspiring veterans, so... Could be a lot worse. Now, admittedly, I think we could have had also, like, four bake into a pies, but... This is fine. Ranked comes out tomorrow. Oh, uh, the Reeve Soul was in one of the downfall packs, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go aggro. Trade blows here. Red green. Gonna carver already? Oh, they're gonna rim rock. Interesting. Rim rock and carver? <laughs> Thank you. 
would have been nice to draw a plains there instead of a uh, mountain so that I'd also be able to outflank this turn, but it's not a big deal. Mythic Championship is next week. Try this at home. I'm gonna lose to them having like a Garen Brig Paladin. <sighs> Let's hope they don't have it. Nothing. If they had tapped out, I would have easily gone for the Shield Breaker on that. I mean, this is pretty awkward. Obviously, I wanted to play Worthy Knight plus Shield Breaker, but didn't hit the fourth land, so I think it's correct to just run this out. Oh, yeah, do it. Oh, mama! And that's what we call GG. No re. LOL. Kappa. Forehead. Failfish. Numat, yes. But we got him. Feels good. Feels good. I think we really have much to sideboard. I guess in this matchup, I don't want the Silver Flame Rituals. Maybe it's just a bigger, larger butt. I think red white definitely gets worse in a best of three world. Ooh, I'm a little bit tempted to keep this one. One planes and we are Gucci, baby. All right, let's go. On the draw, snap it off. Eight planes and a 33 card deck. So I'm like uh, about 90% to hit on the first draw step. And then after two draw steps, it's like 98%. Good to go. Well, well, missed a 90 percenter. Awkward. It's alright. Oh, did the opponent keep a one lander? Oh, they must be on a mulligan. They only have. Oh, they must. Are they on a mulligan to five? No, they're on the play. Mulligan to four. Th five. I'm pretty unlucky. I'd say we're doing just fine, though. Well, I was, yeah, I was about 180% in four draw steps, and so the fact that I haven't drawn. See? 180% in four draw steps. That's just easy game. Good math. Bingo, bango, bongo. I actually don't really want to trade my knight away for their squire, but when they're missing... And I have a double striker, I think it's good too. Yeah, you guys did the math correctly. Oh no, what? No! I always do that. I meant to obviously jump, but whatever. Oh, Lord Garenbrig, who will give you a kiss now? <laughs> who will kiss you now? 
Where's your ch Prince Charming? That's a big casket. BRB. Do, 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 do. Luckily, it didn't matter there that we, uh, misclicked adventure mode, but whatever. It's all good. Damn, I would keep this on the draw for sure. A little bit too risky on the play. Yikes. All of our top end? I actually think this is a mulligan. For sure. We have way too many ones and twos. Alrighty then. I'm sure lots of people have come up with those sets. Six was way too slow. This deck, I can't... I can't just do nothing until turn 5 and expect to win. That is a sleepy weasel. Insane to draw one of our inspiring veterans there. Wow, land pass? What is their hand? Maybe they're flooding out too. Oh, they totally are. They have a bunch of lands in their hand. this time. <clears throat> this is not a combat trick. Otherwise, I would have. Don't touch my brute! You're as cold as a Oh, that's not good. All right, well, we might be dead now. Probably gonna have to kill my ginger brute at some point though. We can equip our Guide Mother here and attack with a 1-3 Flyer into their Tome Raider. 
Can't say these draw steps have been ideal. I kept a one lander, right? Yeah, this was a one lander, and I've drawn six lands. Interesting, interesting. One has drawn a lot of land too, though. But they're nine cards deeper in their deck. Holy moly. Oh no! They have the rat and the sage! Well, rest in peace, us. I've been super inconsistent. Have I? Cast out their merchant for some reason. Let's see. They also didn't loot away their one card in hand. Merchant doesn't trigger the sage. If that's what they were going for. I win with Searing Barrage. really want to kill the Vandal. I think I take five here. Go for Vandal kill. Because then if I get to hit hidden with the Guide Mother one more time, then the Ginger Brood itself is lethal the following turn. They're not looting. Oh no, that can't be good. Maybe I just draw Searing Barrage. So I need to make the Ginger Root Vigilance so that I can also sack it and gain 3 life if necessary. Wait, did I leave myself dead now because I can't block the Paladin? Oh, this might not have worked actually. One, two, three. Block, block. Well, I need to draw. I need to draw. Uh, they did. They did have a counter. Wow, I am very surprised they didn't counter the scorching dragon fire. No, I have a chance, right? If I rip my. Uh, Searing barrage, I win because I don't die this turn. I can block, 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 and then sack for 3 life. Now I might be dead. Block, block, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No! I'm at 1! 
I'm at one. On this current board. Block, block, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. They do get to lo uh, look at a lot of fresh cards, though, to find something. Because they get the rummage here, and then they get double rummage here from the rats. Oh, this one's a loot, even, not even a rummage. But they can't attack with the flyer if they didn't find anything. Yeah, they can't actually attack with their flyer. They need something to block the Guide Mother. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could just actually take this hit, go to one. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I guess I can block one of them. Oh, baby! And they can double rummage here to make two more rats if they really needed. Dang it, we needed this a little while ago. No, I'm pretty sure it was just the Searing Barrage. I don't think Burning Yard Trainer would have done it, but maybe. Oh, I had Fling too! Oh, I had Fling and Barrage, no! And Tactician! Oh wait, we had three outs? Maybe we had more than that. No, just three outs. Oh, shoot, I didn't even look at my sideboard. Whoops. I don't think I had too much versus them, but... Ah, see, again, this hand is so bad. At the very best, it has a turn 3-3-2, three, three, and then, like, maybe... <sighs> this one's a lot better than my previous one, though, so... Okay, well, I mean, hey, now if I just draw a land, land, easy win. Rip. Flashy dude. Aggro, I like it. You have another fairy vandal? Or is this thrill? Okay. I'm guessing they have counter in their hand. They have didn't say please. It's the only thing that makes too much sense, right? Yo, tasty cactus. I missed you. I think you were the 19 months. Unio just destroyed you on arena. Please? I'm gonna run out the less relevant creature. Oh, maybe they're just going to flash their dude back in. Alright. That does not trigger. Ah, uh, okay. Still racing! You mad lad. I want them to use their didn't say please on this. They can also have thrill of possibility here. To just make the creatures bounce. Yep. That's okay. The only bad thing about losing the uh, armor is that my fl Flutterfox doesn't gain flying. 
anymore. Hey, Pokey Sticks. Thanks for the 51 months. So close to three years. Hi. Hello. Double merchant. Sure. Yeah. It's just too good to resolve the Allen here. Or the knight into ogre errant is value, but. Well, they're about to have a lot of creatures. I think it's best to actually uh, go worthy into just hard cast the tactician. Because the tap down is not going to be super relevant since they're going to get so many rats that over the course of the next few turns. So let's just get the flyer online. What else do I have? I have a glass casket in my deck to turn on the Flutter Fox. Uh, I don't recall any other food production. What's up, Splash Yak? Thanks for that 10 months. They can double rummage now to, uh, to activate on their turn here. Might not be the best attack with Ogre. Let's get a bunch of creatures off their board, though. Rummaging should be called haggling from now on, maybe. Yeah, if I do that, then at least, um... Um... The knight is unlikely, or the ogre is unlikely to die there. But the thing is, then they would just put like the two merchants on my. Uh... Oh, I see. Well, they don't get to activate there. It might have been good to attack all there. Oh, that's actually pretty good too. Wow, that's very good. Now we're shipping. Forgot we had the ginger. We force the Paladin to trade off with our Flutter Fox. A lot of chumpage going on. When will I get nummy points? I don't know what those are. Oh, you mean for people viewing the stream? Hopefully soon. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's go to game three. Feels like the Griffin might be better than the Burning Yard in our deck versus them.
No, you can't exchange them for, sh for Shroot Bucks. Thank you very much. Nice try, scam artist. Uh, you can get a decent number of Stanley D Nichols for one Kenji Buck. Almost 20 to 1, I'd say. <laughs> Can't get a good ratio here. Double Veteran is like a kind of a tempting keep, but I need to draw exactly planes. Oh, F it, dude. What? Oh, I meant keep. Oh, oh god. Whoopsies. Oh, I guess I'm on five. I actually meant to keep that six. It's kind of funny. Not that this is a bad five, but we're on five. All things considered, it's as good as a five is going to be. Come on, two drop. Two drop. Two drop. Two drop me. I should have been more specific. Should have said two drop creature. <laughs> Alright, just remember this could have been the Burning Yard Trainer. And Burning Yard Trainer on Raging Redcap is pretty good, but I think. Generally speaking, the Griffin's just going to be slightly better. It was you? You were the fling all along? I'm going to pop the Witching Well, I guess, end of turn. I'm going to flashy, flashy. Bouncy, bouncy? Ah, humbug. This griffin looks like a big goose. was just a jump. Remember, they did have a counter in their deck. Ooh, but it looks like they might just be popping off the well, which is nice for us. <laughs> night, night, OP. Didn't even sack the well, so they must be trying to trigger one of their uh, draw two cards. I wonder if they have like an Iron Craig in their deck. The Ratter. Some one ones. Hey, he sold that. Thanks for that. 36 months. The card I was looking to draw. I don't think it does us much to run out the Rimrock. We'd rather save it for a turn that they like don't block my red cap or something. Fly me anywhere in the world. Oh my gosh. Pretty good. Scandalous. Scandalous. I wonder if I should just be flinging this ratter. I 
I still have that silver flame ritual in my deck, don't I? Why have I let this ratter live for so long? Because I want to go faced with this fling, dang it. Now their vandal's big. Silver flame ritual. Do I fling the fairy vandal? I feel like I'm losing this game. You know why? Because we don't have the ginger. No brute to save me. We haven't seen a single uh, thrill from them in any of these games though. Felt pretty safe. They only have 11 cards left in their deck. They already used their runaway as well. Damn it. <sighs> Eight lands, seven spells. It's not very good. I wonder if they have, like, Ferocity of the Wilds to finish me off. I don't believe it. John Finkel doesn't play Arena. Wow! Help! I need an adult. Am I gonna get red rocked myself? Maybe. I would like a spell, please. I'm at 16 land. Come on! Ah! This feels so bad, dude. Nine lands, seven spells. A Siri. Is that three months? Kill me? Probably close. Three, eight, oh yeah, I'm dead. Wait. Wait a minute. They're not going for it. Didn't go for the kill. Doesn't matter though. That's too bad. <laughs> oh man, that would have been great earlier. Well, that sucks losing the flood. When it outdrew me by like 20 cards too. GG's. Suppose I was also on a mulligan to fire. Alright, or six? Do, do, do. We're 1-1 one, one now. Alright, deck. Give me a good opening hand, please. No mulligans. No screw. No flood. I got 
Uh, this is our best hand yet. Did I just get beloved? It did. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Do not help. Go ahead and make them use their cauldron. Oh boy. Three lands off the top so far. Alright, errant into errant, I guess. Well, I figure if I don't kill the brute now, it's gonna get me later on, so. Ooh, OP didn't know that beloved princess was uh, unblockable there. Three six. I can't beat a three six. It's huge. That's actually really good. And they both get menace. <laughs> Gotta do what you gotta do, get rid of a 3-6. Dead. Trainer last turn didn't do too much. What the heck? Kissy kissy. Oh my god, this creature has haste. <laughs> Burning Yard can block the Ginger Brute. Although we're just dead. Ugh. Rip. If I attack, they take more, or I take more damage on the backswing, because the Rimrock uh, can't block. This is what I get for not drafting black. And instead trying something different. Oh my god! A keepable hand? What the heck? Seven card start? Javier. Well. My MTGO Traders deck was a little bit different. It had like good cards. <laughs> well, they said that they just made updates to how the bots draft, so... Presumably, they're better at about taking cards like Reeve Soul, Bake into a Pie, Revenge of Ravens, etc. Got him! No more ninth pick Ravens? Well, I've only done one draft since the last update, so I don't know. I got one passed to me like third or fourth this draft, didn't I? Let's 
That's his first strike, right? Our game plan is just to resolve Sir Allen and then right click attack all. Alright, step one Sir Allen. Step two Fade the Searing Barrage. Step three Profit? That is broke back. Woof, <laughs> daddy. Okay. Pretty sure they just took like uber lethal. <laughs> what a board, what a life. <gasps> Mom, get the camera. Holy crap, get the camera. I like running out the rim rock here, since we have the shining armor to attack into anything next turn. Or if they just do something irrelevant, we can inspiring Captain Bash. They're missing land drops. I'm gonna go ahead and just run this out. Again, with shining armor, I'm pretty confident that I can just attack with both of these next turn anyways. Oi, the knocker. <laughs> the knocker. I'm gonna knock him and bash him. Burn him and trash him. I would be very surprised if they attacked. Oh, sweet victory. Okay. Yikes, opponent. You got some problems. Something, something, right click attack, alt. LOL, give him the GG. LOL, GG. <sighs> as bad as I say it is, the Golos Mirror is not that bad. It is very skill intensive. Well, it can be very skill intensive. Sometimes you just go grow spiral into circuitous route into LOL, I got there first. My god, these last few games. How do we do it? <gasps> yeah! Turn one shield breaker value? There's probably some merit to not even killing it turn one, but. I would imagine the land gets the boot over Golos.
Well, it's not really a curve. These are all two drops. Every single one of these is a two. All right, so let's lead with a white card here since we only have access to one plane since we drew a secondary mountain. Uh-oh. I could be holding on to the knights to uh, trigger worthy knight if we drew it, but all right. If you show me a counter, I accept. It's no. Maybe I should have waited on that. I just didn't want them to have a thrill of possibility and then trade with a shield breaker, but... What? The previous turn? I wanted to wait until I had more. Alright, well, let's just draw veteran number two. Hey, knock it off. Nope. Nope, I refuse. I am not gonna scorch the 1-1. One, one. Oh, that was a punt, though. I should have definitely used Rimrock Knight. Uh... No, actually, no. I like not using the Rimrock Knight there. Slide. No equip, huh? So you're gonna try to bamboozle me, is what you're saying. I do it. I attack. Show me the bamboozle. Alright, now I'm just confused. Why didn't you... Equip. If they just an or activate Improbable Alliance here, I might have considered. Alright, I still don't know what's going on. They're playing as if they have something. Oh, that's what it was. They just didn't know. They did not realize. Alright, well in that case, let's punish. And then right-click attack all next turn. Well, I didn't know what they were doing on the previous turn, though. The turn that they played the mantle and passed was a bit awkward. What's up, Rob, not Bob? Thank you for the 24 months. I think versus them, I don't necessarily need the flyer. And then the hasty trainer is okay. Dude, I'm gonna jam the poop out of ranked tomorrow. Even though it's best of one. Oh my gosh. The founding subscribers of your channel can rep that status with their new founder's badge. So the first 25 subs for partners can now get a first badge next to their name. My deck list? I, I was playing it today. If you look at the... Um, should be there. Click on that link, and then if it's not the most recent deck... It will at the very least be the Go deck. Yeah. On the top of that is the Go list. Oh, <gasps> BJ! Got that first! A hey, Poidiferous, thanks for the 56 months. BJ is OG. I owe my firstborn to BJ. Founder means you're one of the very first 25 subs to a partner or the first 10 subs to an affiliate. Is what the uh, tweet said. 
You can't have that on turn two. It's cheating, dude. Whoa! Might be, might be just dead. Might be time to scoop it up, ladies and gentlemen. What is this, constructed? Okay, that's fine. Maybe they find none of their ways to draw a second card. I can hope. Feels bad, man. Witching Well doesn't draw a card until they pay four for it, but yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Now wait a minute. Now ladies. Just a second here. Demolition Knight doesn't kill enchantments, it only kills artifacts. That's a big weasel. Yeah, we're actually crushing them here. Oof, that's a way for them to turn on the Improbable Alliance every turn. If they just offer the Lock Dragon for the Knight, I let it happen, I believe. I think I'd rather run out the uh, ogre here. And I'm a big fan of them trading away their lock dragon anyways. Silver Flame wasn't great there. Didn't feel like it anyway. Doesn't even let my inspiring veteran attack in their lock dragon. We start having a problem if they have a way to draw an extra card this turn and then draw... Uh, with Witching Well on my turn. They have double trigger. Correct. If I had drawn a land last turn, I would have 100% Silver Flamed plus Outflanked. It's not that bad. They don't have any profitable blocks, at least. Double Chumbawamba, I take it. Why should they have uh, blocked first? I don't think that changes anything, right? Oh, wait, no, they keep one of their flyers. Because they just killed one. Yeah, never mind. You're right. I thought they, I thought you were talking about like they gained value somehow by bouncing a creature back to their hand. You just mean they keep one. That doesn't actually do anything unless they tap out. No. I'm going to have to save the Searing Barrage for their uh, merchant right now. Oh, what? Mm, whatever. I guess I don't need to hold up Outflank. It's holding up the Ember Shield Shieldbreaker because it actually has a target at the moment. That's kind of awkward. Not a big deal. Again, I doubt I'm going to need to Outflank anything right now. Sacking the egg for red. Do they have a searing barrage? Ah, right. We did see that from them in game one or whatever. Ooh, all in.
But then I lose my Shield Breaker forever. Because then they sack it in response, gain three, and then this fizzles, and this goes to the graveyard. Uh, too many chumpers, though. Oh my, that's pretty good with red cap. We just need to get them to seven and we can kill them. I have no barges. I believe I took this outflank over the only bar uh, barge in I saw. This smells fishy. <laughs> Five open mana. I'm not gonna go for it. No blocks. Fast priority. What? Oh, I should have pumped once there. They left themselves dead on board. Or rather, they left themselves dead to the no block. I should have pumped once. What are they going to do? Huh. They literally just had themselves dead to me pumping once. Didn't expect it, but just beat two Improbable Alliance. One on turn two, one on turn three. Stop it, fan! You know it's not Sweek? <laughs> JK, JK, this hand's great. JK, this hand's very Sweek. Whoa, 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 excuse me, China Bull? What did you just say? I can't hear you. So smitten. Wouldn't mind drawing another land. I don't think I want to trade my brute for their sword master. Ooh. Persephone, thanks for the 36 months. Oh my god, what are they? What is the gain eight? That's cheating. Gonna be one of those kind of games, eh? Alright. The hell? Three colors in this format? Who said you could do that? Probably get him to block the knight here. Oh. I'm just getting uber bamboozled left and right. What is going on? Yes, yes. Goosey Lucy. Burn it to the ground. I don't know what OP's doing, but I approve of it. I'm so confused. Another joust or something? That doesn't save my dude. Ah, darn it. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Their smitten swordmaster will now have gained 14 life. Oh, they didn't attack. Okay. Well, 
Still, ha still has gained 14 life this game. Eight off of the joust, six off of the out, or six off of out muscle plus regular. That's crazy. Once and future. Okay. Removal and removal. Sure. <laughs> Maybe they just outmuscle to make their creature a 3 4. I know, right? This Knight of the Keep. Doing work. Also, 3 4s are amazing here versus their out muscle and their 2 3. Womp womp. Right. What? <laughs> what is going on, dude? I'm so confused. I don't think it really mattered, but awkward play, certainly. <laughs> Enable Keck. No. It's amazing. Man, the last like six games, all of our hands have been A+. Plus. Kinda of crazy! Thanks for the six months. Turn one goose on the play is kinda of gross. Yikes. Hey! What is this constructed? Now you have Falmire Knight or something? What is this? This is constructed! Help! 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 I still think I need to kill the bird, but... Help! God damn it, help! I think I need to bait them into attacking with their innkeeper. So what I might do next turn is just attack with the tactician and then pass and hope they attack with the innkeeper and then I get to outflank it. But it's possible they just have like an out muscle here anyways. Yep. Help! <laughs> Help again! Help! Don't want to fling that. Ugh, I really don't want to fling that. So they take my Allen, I guess. And I stop yelling help, <laughs> lol, my neighbors. Uh, we saw Merchant of the Vale. So youthful. <laughs> Not gonna be an easy game to win, but there's always a chance. <sighs> All right, let's kill the stupid innkeeper.
Ugh, I'm not going to use the ritual. I'm going to wait one more turn. We just die this turn. Man, oh, that murders Rider too? What the heck is this? Actual constructed curve there. And cards. What? Just got spanked. They have Goose, they have Innkeeper, they have uh, Murderous Rider, they had... What else did they have? Don't you dare! Oh my gosh, they did it again. No. Land is not what I needed, homie. Alright. I gotta kill it. I gotta kill it. I can't. Can't let it live. Don't want them to even draw one card off of it. Or like Ogre Errant next turn or something nice. Oops, attacked with all. <laughs> this doesn't mean anything. I definitely don't have an outflank. No, stop out muscling me. Oh, we're dead. Yeah. We get it, OP. You have good cards and you keep drawing them. I understand. That is not what the doctor ordered, if you were wondering. Dude, if I could draft 30 ginger brutes, I would. <laughs> Why? Stop! Alright, I think I'm ready to concede this game. Uh. Oh, hopefully I don't have a removal spell. I think red is just their splash. From what we saw, their uh, black-green base. Alright, well, let's kill the goose instead. This also fizzles the murderous rider, which is nice, but I'm still taking seven here. Yeah, they keep drawing all their good cards. They've drawn like the same cards all three games. Feels bad, man. Alright, I get it! I get it, deck! I get it! GG's. You draw your goose, and your rider, and your edge, every single time. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.